Hi, welcome to Geoverse Convert 1.1 tutorial. My name is Sebastian. I'm just going to take you through some of the new features and a basic introduction to the Convert tool. All right, so let's get going. Okay, welcome to the new interface design. This is the preview panel. We can also scale that, so I'll just show you how to do that. We also have a grippy on the right hand side. Now below this is the job list panel. Now I'll show you the current progress of, and status of existing jobs, details relating to that, and conversion time, number of points in progress bars. So you can add and remove jobs, cut, copy, and paste. And also you have the ability to start and stop jobs, which would be on the right hand side of the panel over here. Now below that you'll be able to see the UDS file that's been put out and the status of it, conversion time going, and points being converted. Following this is the file log. Now this records importance, events, errors, notifications. Essentially it's a dialog. In the settings you can put out a default directory, intermediate directories, and also your licensing options through that button up in the top left. Okay, settings. Output file types. This is essentially the version that you want to match with. So in this case it's 1.1, where your file is going to be going on your hard drive. Uh, meters, which should match the data set coming in. Resolution, that's up to you. You've also got desired grid size and actual grid size if we do a UDG file. Now add and remove files will be your input. And so we'll go to advanced settings. So here you have the maximum number of points, which zero is everything we can do a sample of a million. And then point GIS transform essentially covers WGS and EPSG codes, which we'll get into later. Then you've got color format, and we use an 8-bit RGB palette by default. You can choose what you prefer there. Metadata is essentially copyright material, including a watermark file of 256 pixels square. And that is settings. All right, so what we're going to do now is do a sample data set conversion. So I'm going to just pull this aside and grab from this folder. Got a few prepared files. So in the convert demos, we've got two .las files. I'll just gather those both and drag and drop straight into the interface. Right. So we can select the output type. In this case, it's going to be 1.1. And then I'm going to also select the output file location for the UDS. So I'm just going to put it back in the convert demo folder. And uh, we'll just name this, I think, Goss's Bluff Convert. Okay. All right, so next up we've got the geometry units. Now we already know most of this information, so I'll just select meters again. And the resolution, cheating a bit, we actually know from the previous job that this is around 20 centimeters, so I'm going to select that and just put type that in. Now we're not going to use a grid today, so just be a UDS file. Now with the points, I'm going to select about a million as our sample test to see everything's working properly. And with the GIS transform, I already have got a code prepared to locate the Goss's Bluff area. So I'll pop that in. So next up, I'm going to choose the palette, which we'll just go with 8-bit RGB. I'll put in my name for the author this one. And probably just a comment, sample something. Copyright license we'll skip, but the watermark file is a fairly important little feature. So what I'll do is I'll grab a Euclidean logo I've prepared earlier. And this is set at 256 wide at least. Uh, you can do a 256 square one, and this will be embedded in the UDS file. All right, so we'll just press start conversion. It should be less than a second. There we go. Now in the preview pane, you can hold down your left mouse button to maneuver your view, and then use the right mouse button held down to actually navigate forwards. All right, so this sample looks pretty good. We'll just copy and paste the job and we'll keep all those settings. Now what we'll do is set this back to zero and this will actually render out the entire two .las files. So we're actually going to copy over top of that one. Now this is going to probably take about a minute. So I'll just tell you a little bit about Geoverse Convert. Now this handles many types of point cloud and polygon data and we convert those over into our UDS format and also the UDG format. Now you can find a lot of this information in the manual. So I suggest you have a good read of that. There's a whole list of the different formats we support, such as LAS, LAZ, E57, etc. Now, an expected conversion speed these days is around 3.5 billion points per hour for binary data. And text data, we have an expectation of around 1.5 billion points per hour. So essentially, that's about a million points per second for binary and 400,000 for text. 
So it looks like this job will be finished in a moment. And what we can do is actually preview it here, but we can take that UDS file and put it straight into Geoverse and have a fly around it, and I'll be able to show you the embedded logo. So in a few more seconds. Okay, there you go. All right, just have a little pan around. It's looking pretty good. Now you'll note the embedded watermark isn't present in the preview, but I'll show you in a moment the file. Let's go to the convert demo folder. Okay, and there's a few output files we'll go into later. Fire up Geoverse. Now it's load straight in. Okay, and there you have it in the bottom right. I'll just go straight to presentation view. Give us a full screen. There we go. You can pan all around, navigate that. The logo's in the right hand corner. Everything seems to be in order. There you go, that's a full conversion. Okay, so we'll just leave this view. Alright, so one of the things we need to do is make sure that EPSG code worked. So we can go to Map Panel Options, Display Map. I'm going to go Open Street Map on this one. Just leave, and I'll pan back, and you'll actually see in the initial map that it's right next to the crater. There we go. And I'll pan right out and show you that Goss's Bluff is right bang in the middle of Australia, just where it should be and just where our data set should be. There you go. All right, so I'm just going to show you some of the files that are put out. There's usually three of them, UDS and a couple of job logs. Now this particular text file, job settings, you can drag and drop straight into Geoverse Convert and repeat the same job on a similar data set if you have to keep those settings in place. So that all fills that out, and in basic settings it fills all that out. And you can just press convert and continue again. And that is a basic conversion job. Thanks for watching.